hey everyone so welcome back to another video on our channel and this is going to be one special video for tcs specially and if you are one of those who are actually working in tcs right now or you are one of those who are waiting for tcs onboarding or one of those who recently got selected in tcs or you have just recently applied and are waiting for your exam dates or exam hall ticket and all for tcs this video is for all tcs candidates especially freshers so let's start the video in this video we're going to discuss about the three main roles in tcs that they hire for two of these roles are old roles uh, from every year they hire these roles this is ninja and tcs digital but this year they have also announced one more new role that is the tcs prime role so we're going to see their differences what are the main differences uh, we're going to see first of all what everyone wants to know is the money so we're going to say the CTCs, CTCs almost everyone knows. So the one more thing we're going to say is going to be their in hand salaries. Okay, how much you are going to get in your hands. Next is going to be their roles. Okay, not the salary is not the only thing that differs. Obviously, they are getting higher or lower salary or job roles or they are getting selected after doing tough codes and all because there is a change and there is a difference in their job roles also. What they are going to do after getting joinings, what projects or what type of work they are going to do. These are also we are going to discuss in this video. So let's start the video. First of all, we are going to see the basic things. The, uh, the First of all, you have to understand the roadmap of getting joinings in these three roles. Okay. So first of all, there is a ITP that is the integrated test pattern. There will be aptitude and coding test both. Okay. Together. So based on your performance on the ITP, how much numbers you are getting in the aptitude round, how much you are getting in the advanced aptitude and coding round, how many codes, how many test cases you are passing. Based on that, you are going to get shortlisted for interview first. Okay. So everyone will not get shortlisted for the same role interview. Those who are exceptional in both aptitude and coding, they are going to get selected for TCS prime interview and those candidates who are also exceptional in aptitude and also good to moderate level in coding they are going to get selected for TCS digital interview and those who are very good in aptitude but not so good in coding and advanced aptitudes they are going to get selected for ninja so the main thing that is common in all of these three is going to be aptitude if you are not good in aptitude and it does not matter you are exceptional or good or very good in coding you are not going to get even one of these interviews okay first of all you have to be very good in aptitude after that you have to be good in coding then try to improve and be exceptional in coding like that okay so first of all i'm going to say you one bitter truth you are the only one who knows your level right now okay so try and aim particular that thing if you are good in aptitude then try and aim for digital and prime roles and practice multiple coding questions previous year codings also we have posted recently try that but if you are not even good at aptitude and you are trying to practice hard coding questions right now then you are fooling yourself you are not going to get even ninja role no matter how much codings you do if you are not performing well in the aptitude round you are not going to get ninja interview as well based on this uh, performance you are going to get interview calls and if you are getting prime interview call then if you are performing good in the interview exceptionally good you are going to get prime role and selected for the prime offer letter and if you are getting digital interview call if you are performing really good in the interview you are going to get digital inter uh, offer letter if you are getting ninja similarly you are going to if you are performing well in the interview you are going to get ninja offer letter but what happens if you are getting uh, prime or digital interview calls and if you are not performing up to the mark in the interview you are performing average or uh, below average level then they will demote your job role and give you offer letter suppose if you are in, in a prime interview and if you are not performing uh, very good you are performing average and answering some and not answering some they will give you some your digital or ninja offer letter based on your scores in both the rounds like that okay so that's it but let's move on to the actual topic now but before moving on if you are new to our channel make sure to click on the subscribe button join our telegram from the description box link and also make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post multiple hiring onboarding and exam related updates 
every day regularly make sure not to miss those out so i'm going to talk a lot about the rules and all if uh, so that you do not miss out in any of the topics i will try to give out the screenshots attached with the video so that you can easily understand and see what i'm saying so first of all according to job role and salary if you are comparing then best role is the prime role second is the digital role final and the third is going to be the ninja role okay so according to ctc job role salary this type of things but if you are measuring according to how many students are going to get selected how what is the uh, chance of getting selected what is the chance of getting offer letter then ninja is the uh, best role because many people are going to get selected for ninja very few are going to get selected for digital and only some very very little number of people are going to get selected for the prime roles so let's start with tcs ninja first of all let's see tcs ninja ctc tcs ninja ctc is going to be 3.36 lpa for ug candidates for pg candidates 3.53 lpa but the ctc it does not matter right what matters is the in-hand salary in-hand salary of you is going to be if you're selected in ninja is going to be approximately 22 to 23,000 rupees for ug candidates for pg candidates is going to be somewhat uh, higher the next is going to be what is the roles and what are the type of jobs what are the type of work you are going to do after uh, getting onboarded as tcs ninja so you are going to manage and support application development and management roles basically you are going to work in support and maintenance role mainly but if there is a new demand in a new project obviously there are going to be sometime uh, exceptions like that when there is a demand in the project and if we're uh, performing well then they might uh, add you in that project as well as even if you are ninja but generally ninja candidates are in support and maintenance roles uh, basically support application development management enhance uh, system engineering for better in efficiency and explore ne next generation technologies for an innovative career path these things they have mentioned next is going to discuss about digital role so digital role cities is going to be 7 lpa for ug for pg 7.03 lpa there is not much difference between ug and pg in the digital role so in hand salary will be how much in hand salary for uh, tcs digital is going to be uh, approximately 49000 to 50000 rupees but there is one catch that if you are getting into a project and if that project is available and all then there might be some extra advantage and there might be some night shift allowance there might be other allowances this varies from project to project but general salary i'm going to talk is going to be in hand 49 to 50000 rupees the developing roles are going to be main thing that tcs digital candidate is going to get developing roles and modern technologies are going to be your main focus uh, projects on solution development and integration you are going to do so you have to be development project you have to do integrations of multiple modules focus on modern technologies contribute to tcs ventures develop tech frameworks tools for enhanced capabilities that's it next is the best role uh, through tcs inquity opportunity going to be tcs prime the ctc here is very high obviously 9 lpa to 11.5 lpa you are going to get 9 lpa for ug 11.5 for pg for in hand uh, for ug candidates is generally going to be 62.5 to 64k approx in hand because uh, there are going to be much more tax deductions in prime and all so the roles what are we are going to do is going to be complex projects first of all this is the higher job roles we have to do complex projects uh, advanced technologies algorithms explore emerging technologies for industry applications integrate system designs these things you have to do okay so that's the detailed uh, difference of tcs ninja prime and digital all three roles their ctc their in hand salary and their roles job roles what is the work what type of project you can expect about this if you like the video make sure to like and share it and i have already posted uh, tcs prime and digital interview preparation and interview experience videos you can check that i will give you the link in the descriptions also you can search from our channel also and don't forget to subscribe to the channel